going on everybody do what here with another viking rise video today we're going to be going over three and a half things that you didn't know about viking rise and then there's going to be a surprise at the end so stay tuned so first things first when we go in here um i know some people might know this you can actually move your buildings all right so that's thing number one you can move your building, set up your base, decorate it, go down here in the building menu. You can actually put down decorations. I don't know what these torches do. I, I really don't know what they do. Um, I'm going to assume because they cost gems that they're a buff, but it doesn't tell me what they do. Um, you can put some plants. You can make it all pretty. Um, next thing is, well, some people knew that they could do that. You can also come over here and move the village buildings you just click on them and drag them where you want them to go that's gonna be thing number one number two is these statues you get three per village based upon the level of your village hall so if you're not working on leveling up your village do so not only does it give more rewards whether it's the prison the gems or the speed ups commerce um that is going to give you more of whatever you're looking for so make sure that you're getting this up these um statues boost um your troops so this one over here is going to be doing infantry the one up here is going to be do i think it's pikeman yeah, that one's pikeman and then over here oh, got lost directions um, this one's going to be your archer, and then this one down here is going to be that fourth troop that we really mainly use for carrying heavy stuff, like resources. Come on. The porters. There we go. That's the name. So, that is thing number two. Now, let's see, no marches around the map. Let's make one. Um, we're going to... Attack this jabroni over here. So, when you're on the map and you see the march, if you zoom in, it looks like it's speeding up. But if you zoom out, it looks like it's going backwards. See that? Going backwards, going fast, going backwards, going fast. Okay, that one doesn't really count, right? There's the half. Next thing is, is you can actually zoom in on somebody else's base and you can see and look in here how they have their base set up. Just be a little bit careful because if you go into here, you you might just find out that somebody has a base built more beautiful than yours. And then you get jealous and you rage and you come over here and you're like, decorations, blah, 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 blah. Let's put out some trees. I'm not going to copy him. I don't want no fucking, oh, it looks just like his. Damn it. No. I want more selection. Um, so that is going to be the three and a half things that you didn't know about Vikings Rise. And then as promised, there is something special at the end here in our Hall of Valor. So we have 111 summons and we have 90. Let's get cracking. See what we can get. Do it again. Do it again. Come on, give me something good. I want something good. Come on. I'm really, really bad with names. It's something you guys will come to realize. Um, whatever the archer lady is, I need more pieces of her. And it's not going to give me anything. I will take the hero XP, though, because I have a really close... Ooh... Dun, da, da, da. I do not have him yet. Well, that is kind of nifty. Um, he is the other person that I needed to pair with the other lady. So that is beautiful. But I need the hero XP because I need to get her to level 45 so that I can get the rest of her armor on her. But this is why we save these up. We don't just use the five immediately as soon as we get them because it's it's a random look at the draw. I mean, 
the first, I want to say, day and a half when I got the game and you were getting a bunch of these there. That's, I think that's her, her dandy. Okay, well, let me click to see. Um, the first, like, day and a half after the game was released, it, it was, like, super good um, spawn rates. Oh, got another one. And, yeah, you were getting golden heroes left and right. Um, and now it's just kind of slowed down, so the best bet to beat this RNG is just save up a bunch and then go ham. Because look at that, I'm getting all of the pieces that I want. One of the great things that I have noticed, well, alright, you guys get four and a half things. Um, once you max out a hero, you stop getting pieces for that hero. Um, I don't know if the game just boosts them to another hero piece that you need, or if it's going to give you, um, like a neutral piece that you can turn into whatever hero you want, but I'm not getting any pieces for the heroes that I've maxed out. Laird is almost maxed out. Alright, that's all on that one. Let's see, so... Oh. Wow, we did a bunch with the energy summons. Ooh, another Arthur. That, that, because it gave me the whole Arthur, I think. It's going to give me ten more pieces of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you get the whole hero, it gives you ten pieces, so that's freaking nice. And back into the skills. Right off rip a gold skill. Let's go. Bless the negotiation. Um, I can't remember what that one does. I really wish it would let you click on these so you can see. In a rage. I think in rage is one of the ones that I need for the archers. The archer team. Loki's trick. I'm getting some good pulls out of this. Oh my god. Rage Leech and Retaliate? Ah, The screen started to go a little gold around the edge. I thought it was going to happen again. I was like, oh my god. Oh, there we go. Wild Indulgence. I really should have pulled out my notepad. So that I could have, like, gone over what some of those skills were and sounded smart. Ooh, got a whole ass skill acquired. Look at that. Health of the hero in squad equals increases by 5.5%. Defense and then counterattack for three seconds. Very nice. With 100% probability. Another blessed negotiation. I really think I need that on my counterattack team. Shield support. I know I need that one on my counterattack team. What are we, man, come on, give me the good. I want the good. Shield reflector. I think that's another option for the counterattack team. It feels like the experience for your skills just like it goes so quickly. Like the skills is going to be the big ooh, breaking free and Loki strike. I don't know where those two go right now. I don't have my notebook with me. All right, that's it for those. And then we have some skill shamans. Skill acquired. Also, just because you have, like, some gold skills, don't knock the purple ones. Um, they're looking like they're going to be very handy um, for certain situations. Um, either to complement... Uh, a gold skill or to give yourself um, a different spread than what most people are going with so that when they encounter you 
you might have a little bit of an advantage. Um, a lot of the gold skills are better abilities, but sometimes the purple skills will be different, unique abilities that help in certain situations. So make sure you guys are paying attention to that and reading through those. Summon over 500 times in the Hall of Allah. Alright. So yeah, I needed the pieces for her. Um, get her a boost to her talent. And then let's see. Can we do that? I think we can. Boom. So close. Yes! I can get the rest of her equipment on her. Now I have two bows here. But this is something that I was showing you guys in the smithy guide. 3% um, of archer attack increase and porter, 1% march speed, and then increased capacity of rally troops. This guy over here, squad load increased, and then it's two buffs to archer. So make sure you're paying attention because maybe you do need that increased capacity for rallying troops. You know, you got a, a war coming on with another alliance and got some big players in there. And you want to be able to have more troops in your rally. The Cursed Arrow might be the way to go. But when you're just going your straight ham. Plowing through people. Um, one be wanting. Um, you're in jungle. Law of the jungle. Or um, you know this bow of greed. Might be your best bet. Also pay attention. There are some equipments that specifically boost the damage for PvE. So make sure that you're equipping what you need for what you're doing. And then the rest of my XP is going to be going into him to start getting him ready to join her team. So yeah, getting the other one of him gave me a whole 10 pieces. Nothing I can do with that yet. And then... Level, 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 level. Do, 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 do. 27, I will take it. If I disappear, it's because the Nintendo went after me. Well, guys, that is it for this round of Viking Rise. Um, be sure to leave any comments if you have any feedback. If you have any requests for things that you want me to review, dive into, demystify. Um, be sure to hit that like and subscribe and... If you want to follow all of my videos, be sure to tap that bell too so you know when I put more stuff out.